All right. So, guys, uh, here's how today is going to work. Uh, we're going to be um, giving you guys a really interesting uh, match here. So, Paid versus Nick, um, you can see here that they have the ability to pick boosters. Now, these boosters, the first booster, I believe, applies to the first battle only, and then the second booster applies to... Uh, the first booster, I should say, applies to all battles. The second booster applies to battle two and battle three. And then the third booster applies to only the third battle here. At least that's how I understand it. So if that's the case, uh, we have, they've chosen only light cruisers as the name of their first booster. All cruisers, the protein picks have to be light cruisers. So caliber has to be under 160 millimeters. We were talking about that yesterday, Puddin. Um, wow. That's a, that's a pretty spicy one to start with. Um, right? Kitten, what do you think about that? I mean, that's that's painful. That's the only way I can put it. That's painful because that's... No, just no. <laughs> just no. What's, what's wrong? Why are you saying no? Okay, number one, I hate cruisers. I don't do well with them. I don't find I have any use for them at all. So for me, it's like, if I have to take a cruiser, I want something that's going to be vicious. But remember, mm. what, what what do I play normally? Right, right. I play big, angry battleships that I want to tear you to pieces with. That's right. All right, looks like we have two giveaways going. <laughs> I'm confused. And remember, guys, we're at a minute and a half delay, so we, we uh, as you go in here, you can see we have um, our first battle here, Snake versus Pay to Win. Oh, wait, no. Uh, <laughs> wow, okay. It's, it's, guys, there's so much uh, stuff that I had to set up today that I thought I didn't have to set up because I went to bed yesterday thinking, okay, I'm all set for tomorrow, no problem. And I woke up today saying, well, I could take a little bit extra time in bed because, you know, I got everything all set up today. Little did I realize how much additional stuff we would get stuck with today. So just give me a moment as I set this up here. Uh, anyway, uh, while I'm doing that, Kitten, can you tell us a little bit about the lineups? Let's see. So on, who is this? The Who's green? Paid to win. This is paid, right? Yes. Paid. Correct. Paid. paid. Yes. We've got a Satsuma, a Slava, a Worcester, a Zorky, a Gearing, a Kleber, a Kleber, and two Ragnars as well. Uh, and, okay. okay. So the other team, and that is Sneak, mm -hmm. has a Satsuma, a Kremlin, an Annapolis, a Des Moines, two Des Moines, which that's, yeah, that's good actually. Napoli and three Gearings. Yeah, three gearings is interesting. They want all the torpedoes. And, of course, they have perhaps a slight, a slight advantage in that they can bring heavy cruisers like the Des Moines, like the Annapolis. Yeah. And look at, by the way, <laughs> look how uh, Thelvadam is already, already going in towards B-cap. He's got uh, AP loaded, question mark. Um, but he's got radar up, and he is being smoked into the battle area. Very smart positioning there. Good play. Radar catches was, the two Ragnars. Go ahead. So being that they couldn't bring any heavy cruisers, I mean, at, at le do you think the fact that they brought just a ton of DDs is going to be, be a good Well, fit? let's be real. Kleber is pretty much like a discount light cruiser, right? Um, <laughs> Zorky is a super ship of the Russian flavor, which is also pretty much a light cruiser. Um, Ragnars, also light cruisers. Uh, the, only, the only thing that, that really is a destroyer on Team Paid is their gearing, um, which, as you can see, did a really nice job of setting up a smoke screen for the Wooster, opposite of the Annapolis, who just took a torpedo because he was sitting broadside 
in and the I'm smoke. I'm just watching this Ragnar just dodging a wall of torps for a second oh, yeah. there. It looked like he was going to take one, but no. No, no, he'll have to wait later for his torps. But um, the thing is, <laughs> you bring you bring gearings, right? You bring gearings because their torpedoes have very long range, and mm-hmm. uh, they're well, they're relatively slow. But the thing is that you don't detect them until it's too late, oftentimes. So they're very good torpedoes for you know basically surprising an enemy. Uh, we saw yesterday a series, a whole host of ships. Um, get surprised by gearing torpedoes. Now, speaking of torpedoes and surprise, uh, watch Simfo. Better be careful. He just got he just got shot at. I wonder if he's detected. Let's see. Uh, I got I keep mixing up those up. Nope, nope. That was a lucky shot in the smoke. For I don't Watsinfo. know. This he- gearing the this gearing is just was taken. Just oh my god. What gearing where? Um, this is Velvatum. Velvatum. Okay, so you're talking they, about snakes gearing and B cap. Yes, with the Ragnars, we're just slapping him every which way. He's hiding well, now, but. Mm-hmm. And that's what that's what uh, Ragnars will do. They'll work together, uh, just like clay bears. They'll work together, and they'll just absolutely pound on whatever destroyer they find. And now that now that gearing's going to try to sneak back in, I think he's just trying to get get the cap. But yes, so Thelf Adam's going to he's going to try to Go back up, and there's a very safe spot for him right here. He can just stop and sit, and at least deny cap points or possibly get the cap um, as the Ragnars get forced back with the Annapolis's uh, radar, which will be up. Oh, it's available now. I was going to say, but. But the rag, this one Ragnar, I don't think is. Well, maybe I thought he was going to try to sneak in there and stop him from capping, but he is. He's backing yeah, in yeah, right he now. Is. He's going really slow, but yeah. Yep, he's taking his time. Now we, I do this to people all the time when I play random battles. I wait for the enemy destroyer to get to about half to three quarters capped, and then I get in the cap. Do you know why I do that, kitten? No. It encourages the other destroyer to stay put. So by doing that, by doing that, it encourages the gearing to stay where he's at. And look what happened: the other rag, the, the Ragnar now just radared. Thel's going to be forced to back off the cap. He's going to take some shots mm-hmm. from the Ragnar for that. Uh, and then real ships in Annapolis, he pops his radar, but the only thing he can see is going to be the Ragnar that's behind cover right now. So nobody really has a shot on Paid's Ragnar. This is a, a brilliant play by Paid. Make Zhao great firing a broadside shot on the Kremlin. Could have could have been worse. Kremlin was backing up. Real son of dad. <laughs> Just barely getting out of, of those shots. Way in time. three times. Way three X is now. Yep. Pounding, trying to pound on that Kremlin. Yep. And fortunately for Way Three X, the shells from the Kremlin uh, oh, hit the uh, hit the cliff. Yep. Sorry, Stevie just decided to jump off my lap, and he's going to his proper spot. You'll all get to Don't see him you momentarily. Do that? They're like, mm-hmm. thunk. <laughs> yep. And they're like, I have decided to leave now. Vadim now going with another smoke smoke up into uh, B-cap. He's going to get real ship in there. As you can see, that radar forced uh, fell away from B-cap, and as a result, Paid was able to take B. They had C for a little bit, but now you can see that uh, Klutz has reversed into C cap. And he's not careful. He will take a torpedo here. Is he detected? No, those that are guess shots. Like those yeah. are guess shots. Beautiful those guess are shots guess there. Shots. Well, they know that he's in the cap, and they know just about where he is thanks to the fact that the smoke ended at a certain place. Terrific guesswork there. This is what we call French radar. You don't need radar. All you need is a lot of DPM. You just keep shooting an area until you hit, like right there. Now they wow. see where the explosion was, and it's zeroed in. Klutz is going to be forced like, to back off. It's it's basically playing old school Milton Bradley battleship. Yes, it is. Keep pressing till you hit. That's right. 
Watch Simfo now taking some hits. And he's got to be careful to Slava. Slava might slap him here. Hello, Veteranikas. But look at that. Pink camouflage forced but to go dark. This, but now the this Annapolis is is getting this Zorky pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the real ship. There's it. That's his name. And I am not <laughs> even gonna try to say the name of the Zorky. Sorry. Oh, uh Af yeah, that's Af Anfav Swa Anfav Swatarp, something like that. Um they were saying it really well on the Wargaming uh, mainstream when we had our last tournament with them. Donna, uh, I love the you, Team League you're 3. Anfa. You're Anfa. <laughs> That's as far as I'm trying to go on there. You're Anfa. <laughs> now look at this, guys. Snake has all caps. By the way, nobody's actually died yet, which is really wild because we're already but that nine minutes into the game. Close. Well, pink camouflage is close, yes, but he'll be okay. Um, all that does is that boosts his adrenaline rush and forces him to play more carefully behind islands uh, for cover. So you're, you're not going to see him charging in. You're going to see Otten charging in instead. And if you look at where Pink is, he's putting himself he's putting himself with the island between him and the smoke. Yep. So that as soon as somebody gets detected, he can just start going to town. Make Zhao great again is now shooting once again at real son of a dad's Kremlin. This is the first time I've seen a Kremlin this weekend, so that's pretty cool. Hello, Survival Impact. With one and a half minute delay, guys, we get to talk a little bit more, and you chat get to make some really key decisions coming soon. TM. Yeah, Highland Rat, Happy Feet, Avisi, Survival Impact, Ender. Hi, guys. Now, uh, looks like. Uh, AGT has backed into A. Torpedoes will just go by the side. Lava just took one. Anakin, Anakin yes. Eight, yeah. Anakin just took a shot. Uh, took a shot now. Uh, this is one thing I don't like seeing. I don't like seeing two battleships in the same spot. Anakin got a good hit though on uh, that Annapolis. Yeah. But both battleships in the same spot is going to be a problem for paid because Snake then only has to worry about angling in one general direction. And remember, Snake used the booster. They, they cannot bring heavy cruisers, only light the cruisers. The real son of dad just took a torp. Mm. Yeah, he's in a very precarious position. I'm not sure why he was called off uh, like this. Um, but uh, he's... I think they're trying to set him up to... Basically, bow tank the uh, the battleships while at the same time being able to, to smack the, the Wooster if it gets detected. Um, you can see Thel Vadim now moving towards ACAP along with the Annapolis. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Thel pops his smoke as soon as he gets to the Kremlin and sends up a good, uh, good death snail. That being said, no, they just slapped each other and said, good luck to you. <laughs> like, I love when that happens. You expect team play, you don't see it, and you're just like, huh? Don't worry, guys. They have a plan. I'm sure of it. Meanwhile, not a whole lot going on over at CCAP. There's the snail coming up. Annapolis radar goes up. Now the question is, what battleship shells are already... See? Look at real ships got shells coming in right now. Oh! He gets the kill on the Ragnar, but pays for it dearly. 5,000 hit points left on real ship. There's the heal. I was just about to just about to look and see how long until that heal comes up. So, um, and the real ship, as long as he doesn't get detected again for a little bit, he'll be okay. More torpedoes coming on Son of a Dad. He's fine. And Paid has now started pushing at CCAP. They're down quite a bit on points. So they have to make a play. So in this situation, I mean, what can they do to, to come back from this? Well, uh, in this situation, generally speaking, Paid needs to push basically everywhere. And you can kind of see that at C already they're pushing. Mm -hmm. um, and if you look at A... 
AGT is setting up a death nail, and he's going to smoke the Wooster in. So, so basically, Snake went and smoked their Annapolis in, and now Paid is going to go and smoke their Wooster in. <coughs> and the question is... Well, they better do it quick, because this poor Wooster... Well, he got detected because they were, weren't quite in proper position to start, and you can see the result of that. He did take some damage, and I think he's a little bit more afraid to go in now, especially considering that there's a Des Moines with radar and an Annapolis with radar. And the real ship's about to go. That's correct. Radar comes up and does detect Way 3X. Shells from Son of a Dad fall short. There he goes. There goes the Annapolis, but... Uh, Janier in the Des Moines still has his radar going, yes, which means yeah. AGT is in trouble. For another 20 seconds, AGT will be detected. And big hit right there from the Kremlin. Yeah. Little son of dad. AGT's engines are out and he's on fire. His DCP is down for another 13 seconds. And looking back at the map, Paid has taken C cap. And look, the Zorky has shoved into B. On Fop's water gap. He's a water gap. <laughs> the water I'm, watching, I'm watching um, Way 3X try to fight off this, this Des Moines. And getting <laughs> slapped. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you for calling that out, kitten. That was epic right there. Just got smacked by Son of Dad. He was trying to get, trying to move along the border. Failed, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> But, you know, that, that's Kremlin for you. And speaking of Kremlin, look at the Zorky. Look at the Zorky. Just took a big hit from, from real son of dad's Kremlin, whose turrets, of course, turned very quickly. So A is lost. Like, there, I was going to say A was lost. There was no way in, mm. in God's green earth. And Snake manages to pull this one out. Congratulations to Snake on that win. All right, Kitten, what do you think of your first uh, your first uh, experience doing this? <laughs> I think I was making myself sick trying to turn my cameras every which way to see things that you weren't seeing. It's tough, isn't it? It is. It really is. And you're like... You're watching two or three happening things happening, and you're like, okay, what do I spit out? Right. What do I spit out and say? Right. Yep, and for some odd reason... Oh, really? All right. What's I up? have to I have to rebuild my best of three map scene. That's annoying. Um, because this tournament went best of two yesterday, so I'm like, okay, well, I'll just copy over, I'll duplicate the best of three scene, which I did. Um, and then I deleted the uh, the third map because I'm like, hey, I don't need it anymore, right? Error. So uh, apparently in OBS, when you duplicate things, they tie together. So when I deleted it in one scene, it deleted from the other. <sighs> so I'm going to have to figure that out. Um, I just need to add a bunch of things. See, and I had a question I wanted to ask you, but it was too late. I was going to ask you, what do you think would have been an ideal lineup for those who had, who couldn't bring any heavy, heavy cruises in? What do you think would have been an ideal lineup for them to try to fight that? But Well, frankly, I'm, <laughs> I'm surprised we did not see more Minotaurs. I would have, I was expecting to see more Minotaurs. Um, but that wasn't, that wasn't the case. Because I think Minotaur is a very powerful ship. I think it's, uh, something that, uh, could definitely work out, uh, in their, in the team's favor. It's kind of like a discount destroyer. It's got the radar and all that good stuff. So, so that definitely comes in handy. All right. I need to find map three winner, map three overlay. Put those two in the folder. And is there anything else I'm missing? Map 3 PNG. There it is. And do I need the text document too? Uh, 
I do not need the text document. Okay, that makes it easier. Sorry, everybody. I think I've got it just about fixed. I'll have to do some fine-tuning when I go back live on that scene. I got the overlay up. Okay. Let me I do look sleepy, don't I? I do look very sleepy in that screen. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I was going to be on cam today, but I <sighs> drug myself out of bed, got set up, and that was that. So, no. No cam for kitten. Oh, no worries, no worries. All right, I got it rebuilt. There's our third map. So second map is Tears of the Cruisers. Third map is going to be Sea of Fortune. Guys, please don't forget, we have giveaways running. Highland Cat won our first giveaway. Keep an eye on chat. Type in exclamation point ticket when you see that giveaway up and running. And make sure you get in for a prize. We got some good codes to give away today. And then after the stream is done, we have the Zafter Party where we're going to celebrate my birthday, which is tomorrow. And um, we're going to give away up to $750 worth of prizes. So the amateur team for this one picked the Slava for the other team. That is correct. So I'm going to switch back over here, and you can see pick a ship. So they picked Slava. Now, interestingly enough, Ah, I think I know why they why paid did not run Minotaur. Because they're banned from running it in a third game. So they probably didn't want to find a comp that they would get too comfortable with and then have to, yeah. to mess it up. That's also why they took the Slava in the first game. I think they were trying to find a comp that could get around all of uh, Snake's bans and still provide them with a victory. Madness says, I should have woke up a bit sooner and caffeinated up to keep up with that match. Madness... Um, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I still don't have coffee either. Vices hasn't even come out of the room yet. See, now, I don't drink coffee. Uh, so for me, it's hot chocolate. And uh, that that's about it. Um, I'm going to try I'm trying clean water today. We'll see if that uh, stays. Um, but for now, that that's the plan. Kitten's like, oh, no. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I mean, is it we're... today technically your birthday stream too? Yeah, and well, it, it'll be it'll be afterwards. So I, I have to after the stream is done, I have to cut the stream, I have to take the uh, the delay off, and then I have to switch back over to my normal uh, scene collection or whatever. So Star Scream needs to know about the prizes too, by the way. That will take a while. Uh, Star Scream, what are the prizes you mean for the Zafter party? Um, the prizes for this after party are going to be our regular giveaways. As you can see, uh, Putin's been doing giveaways for CC containers and subscriber camouflages. Um, but then, as far as the prizes are concerned, I'm tying them with uh, my uh, sponsored stream here. Uh, and you'll see in the link in chat, go back a minute and a half, and you'll see a special link there. Every 20... Uh, people who create an account and play through literally just play through one battle with that new account and pick up a tier two ship um every 20 that do that uh, we'll do a special giveaway and that special giveaway is you get to pick your own prize up to a tier nine ship okay so uh it's definitely a very valuable um prize and then that's what we're doing today and then um we'll get rid of the rest of our budget the following weekend following sunday so if you want a chance if you want a chance uh at if you want to i should say if you want to increase your chances of winning uh, a special prize then do me a favor and you can do this during break time you can do this while you're watching the stream because it's easy and mindless uh all you have to do is click that link you create an account for the north american server um any email is fine any uh, game name is fine as long as it'll accept it you go in you play a game at tier one you buy a tier two uh tech tree ship and you help me out and then of course uh, i will return the favor by doing <coughs> those special giveaways and that's correct. Sith Kitten has become an actual cat. It's Sith. It's Sithcraft, okay? Sithcraft. I can only hold myself in human form so long before back to cat. What are, what are you, Odo? <laughs> <laughs> what 
Well, I mean, they're going on and how I've always been a cat. So I'm like, well, you know. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. I'm just going along with your chat, dude. <laughs> I mean, th that's that's usually not a problem. <laughs> Okay, uh, we're waiting probably for uh, the cat. other for the other group to uh, for the the stream to make their choice here. Um, so let me see, where am I? There it is. Wow, that sailing robin. <coughs> okay. Um, we have an ad that's going to start in 15 minutes, guys. I'm going to run an ad break while we wait here because I want to make sure you guys don't miss out on the fun. All right. Um, it should start in a minute and a half, and it should run for about a minute and a half. Stick around. We'll be doing plenty of warships coming soon. You just Talk made me you. realize I need to open my stream readers, too. Uh-huh. Otherwise, your ass is going to keep losing again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta get Stream Raiders going as well. And then he um, forgot about our battle yesterday, guys. He started another battle and went the fuck to sleep. I did go to sleep, because I was tired. And you told me to go to sleep. Well, but not with the Stream Raiders still going! You should have ended the battles! What? But, 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 I needed to place but, a but, unit but for my lost. mission. But we lost. When you lose, when you're doing offline battles, that's usually when you cut it. I, yeah, it is usually when I cut it. Yeah, but you didn't. I didn't. That's right. And then Hello, Rui. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm would. sorry. You would blame. I, me. I blame Seth Kitten as well, Putin. I totally blame Seth Kitten as well. Oh yeah, blame the one with boobs. I see how it is. Ah. <sighs> so. Let's see. Let's switch over to. My captain on Stream Raiders. Looks like they're having a training room issue. Because why not? Hairball! <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to try this. It's a blue token chest here. Let me get to my Stream Raiders scene. There it is. And what do I need to do? I need to place warriors, set battle plans, and place warriors again, and place mages. Well, mages have the highest cooldown, so we'll start with mages. Ah, yeah, we, we, we really struggled on this map yesterday. So there you go. Toss down some units. And as a reminder, guys, the uh, paid team is forced to play Slava this game. We saw them play Slava last game. So I don't feel like we're going to see too much of a change uh, in Paid's lineup. That being said, Kitten, are, are there any ships that you think Paid didn't think about that maybe they should be thinking about? Not with... No, not that I can think of. But then again, I'm very, very new at this whole tournament thing. Mm-hmm. Chat, how about I, you guys? Are there any ships yeah. that... Uh, that you did not see that you're surprised you didn't see. Uh, frankly, I'm surprised that I didn't see um, a Z-52. But I think part of that's because I just love that damn ship too much. <laughs> Hashtag blame Zath. Well, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Well, I see how it him. is. I see how it is. You putting, tell him putting no prizes for, for, uh, for Ibble. That's At least okay. Not, not the beginning. <laughs> I'll hook you up, Ibble. It's all good. Aw, oh, there you go. We'll just give you something that Duckman wins. Ah, okay. That'll per that'll work out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Duckman's here yet. Um, considering I haven't seen him complain yet, he's not here. <laughs> 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 poor oh Duckman. goodness! We give that poor man so much grief. Oh, we do. We Funny do. Money begs for it. That is right. All right, chat. We're still waiting just a little bit longer. Um, 
And then we have one third battle. All of these uh, matches are three games in a row. Uh, we might have an opportunity for some interviews afterwards. We'll see. Um, and, and then uh, we'll move on to our next section. In the meantime, um, I am downloading replays because I realized I haven't done that yet. That, that would be helpful, you know. I'm just For saying. Later in the stream, absolutely, yes. Um, yeah, you know, to be prepared. Huh? Yeah, you should be prepared and already have them up and ready to go. I, I should be prepared. Yes, I should be prepared. Um... There it is. We have a dirigible derby game sentence. So I'm like, all right, I'll just call that DD, I guess. So I what do you think of that, that scenario? Game mode? Yeah. Uh, it's fun. It's different. Um, looks like teams are readying up. Uh, it looks like they still need to pick the bounty. Okay. Well. <laughs> Ibble Dibble says, I don't win anyways. That's okay. Simboto. Yeah, Minnow would be nice to see. But uh, the thing is, like I said, I think uh, they're not picking that one. Because if you look over here, uh, you'll see that uh, the Minotaur has already been... Um, oh, and we're starting. Where is it? Hey, Missouri. No. There we go. Hello, Missouri. Um, so because it's already picked there, um, the minnow is is not allowed in game three. I don't think we're going to see a minotaur in Paige's lineup this game, but we'll see as our game has indeed dropped. A Montana versus a Satsuma. Yep. All right. So let's get into this battle here. Okay, so on the paid side, we have a Satsuma, a Slava, a Colbert, a, a Jinyan. How do you say that? Jinan. Jinan. Okay. My bad. That's a good pick. That's a good pick. Yeah, McGeary, two Colberts and two Ragnars versus the Montana and Borgone, two Venezias, two Nevskis, two Gearings, and a Colbert. Your yeah, thoughts so on the lineup? Snake's ch changing things around a little bit. Um, so in terms of the lineup, looking at paid, uh, they have to bring a Slava and they, and they know they cannot bring a Minotaur next match. So you can see they're choosing Jinan and Colbert. Both of these are HEDPM machines. Um, the Jinan is similar in a sense to the Wooster in terms of its, its gunnery, but it has deep water torpedoes, uh, which are good against everything but destroyers. And it's also got its own smoke. So it can be maybe a little bit more on in the independent side of things. Um, not as uh, not as dependent uh, on, a, on a smoke destroyer like a gearing. And you can see that Paid has dropped the gearing from their lineup. They are now bringing two Ragnars, two Clay Bears. And looks like they are possibly going to wolf pack here. We've got two Clay Bears and a Ragnar heading to A. Ragnar, of course, brings the radar. Clevers bring the pain. Um, Colbert heading to B cap. Not surprised there. And Yamagiri, I think, is a good pick for going over at C cap with the Jinan. They can work together quite well. So, so Paid has picked a, a good comp that I think will complement each other quite nicely. As far as Snake is concerned, they've got two Venezias, which will be a pain, and they've got two Nevskis, which will also be a pain. Um, they are choosing to put both of those on opposite flanks. So essentially, whichever side paid pushes on, that particular flank turns and kites away. It's very easy to set up. And then it looks like the rest of their ships are just kind of milling about in the middle for now. Mainly being those battleships. Just keep it on blind torps. I don't think they're going to touch anything, but you never know. 
I mean, sometimes torps uh, do touch things. Sometimes they don't. That's right. right. A lot of times they miss, sadly. A lot of times they miss. Uh, I'm seeing some talk in chat about ships. Yeah, Yoshino's a good ship. Simboto, glad that you're enjoying Total War Warhammer 3. I'm going to have to take a look at that. I requested a review copy. We'll see if that comes in. Hey, Jules. Good morning Angela to you, too. says that the Jinan should have been banned because it's not generally available. Uh, it's a tech tree ship at this point, and it's in the tech tree, so I don't think it's going to be banned. And, and quite frankly, um, Cthulhu, you bring up a really good point. Um, one thing that, that we have to keep in mind about this event is that it's meant to be uh, kind of a way for the organizers and everyone to, to practice and prepare for King of the Sea and get an idea of what uh, what you might come across and how the various ships are going to work. So I absolutely like seeing a Genon because it does add a different layer to this as well as you saw the super ships. Um, so, you know, for example, look at the Genon right now, deep water torps coming in on that smoke cloud. Of course, the gearing can sit in front of it and not care. So, in a sense, Snake mm -hmm. has a discount hydro uh, for that Nevsky. Taking a look at the rest of the battle, we've got a little bit of a just a, a sitzkrieg going on in B, both destroyers on the opposite ends. They don't want to detect each other because they know that the pain will come when that happens. So they're just basically happy to sit there. Anfa taking shots at LA mm -hmm. 20, 2016. Yep, he and I think it's a she, but gets uh, punished for that slightly. Mm -hmm. Sap will do ridiculous things to Colbert because it's so lightly armored. At the Here same comes time, some... we've got Anakin Paid and the... Mm -hmm. Who is that? Actor. Actor, yes. Actor. Yes. And uh, we saw, yeah, we saw some shells going up from the Bragan on uh, the Satsuma. Satsuma responses. Oh, Anfa's water gap just takes, Dang. just taken out by the Montana at epic long range. I completely missed that. I looked down to read your chat and suddenly someone was dead. And that's one of the problems about casting a tournament, Kitten. You really can't afford to look at chat that often. Um... And chat, it's, it's apologies if you ever feel like you are being ignored during a tournament. But Sith Kitten, just, Sith Kitten just illustrated that beautifully. I just missed epicness because that just happened out of nowhere. And reminder, if you do see epicness, as Thel Vedim is in trouble in his Nevsky, just got smacked. Um, if you do see epicness, make sure that you clip that moment, okay? Because when I do my highlights and stuff, I always look at the clips that people have, have made of the channel. And if they find an epic moment, I will absolutely clip it. I will highlight it. I will post it over to YouTube for everyone to see. Because some of these moments you don't want to miss. Yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. All right, now, yep. Paige lost their Colbert. That means A or B is very tenuous. Look at the real ship in the Venezia pushing up into B cap. Let's see if he's detected. He he was detected, and they just made Inky go figure. Um, <laughs> but that's going to allow Jenny her to go into B cap and, and basically take it for free, which means that Snake has all three caps, although Paige is currently working on a cap again this is high tier play by the way it's a whole lot of back and forth it's a whole lot of one team takes a cap then the other comes in takes a cap and blah 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 you cap i cap you cap i cap mm -hmm. good morning gary salute to you sir and starscream thank you for letting me know it's there because i have the xbox game pass for my pc hmm and yes, Cthulhu, that, that is correct. You are right that it does require a lot of doubloons or free XP. I think it's it's an early... Is it still an early access or has it, it's been released now, right, with the patch? So 
I think you. I, I can't keep track of all this stuff, um, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure you can. You can get it for just XP, free XP at this point. In any case, um, by the time regular King of the Sea hits, it will definitely be widely available. Uh, here come shots from Anakin Pate on the Nevsky's elf at him. Thel manages to dodge most of that heat. But Anakin took a few slaps for it. Brilliant maneuvering. Who took a few slaps for it? Anakin got smacked just a couple little slaps mm. for those shots. Yeah, probably from the Brigon or the or the uh, Montana. But look at look at his dodging. And now I think he's dark. I think he's dark. Let's take a look. At, yep, they can't see him. Oh, last show's coming in. Just missing. Just missed. <laughs> oh, and that one hits. <laughs> Somebody clip that moment. That was a beautiful blind shot by Anakin, showing why they are pros. Trill said he missed it. Air fryer time went off, and you heard. <laughs> That's the thing about King of the Sea, baby. Don't walk away. <laughs> right, Sambato, when, when they're going to be able to use black smoke, you know, making ink. Mm-hmm. Asim, one team has normal ships, the other team has all OP ships. Well, yes, that's the booster. That's the booster part of this uh, tournament. And we'll explain more uh, now that more of you guys are joining throughout the day. And chat, you, you will have an opportunity to decide a few things moving forward. So uh, make sure you stay tuned. Um, and at the end of game three, Putin will be putting a poll up at the end of game three that will have a direct impact on our next game. So that's really awesome. It is still in early access. Gotcha. Okay, not accessible with free XP yet. Thank you, Cthulhu. I mean, we just had a patch, so it's really hard to keep track of, like, what's going on. But, you know, these are press accounts, so... Uh, because they're press accounts, guys, they everybody's got access to the ship. Big hit there on uh, on late 2016 in Venezia. So, in a sense, this is Paige's attempt to find out how how is the Yamagiri going to work for their play style. He's under fire right now, uh, and then of course, how the how's the Xinan going to work? As Paige has been pushed off of all three caps once again. So keep in mind, none of these players, none of these players have actually spent any doubloons for this tournament because they all have uh, press accounts, which I would imagine have everything uh, they need on those press accounts. Actor's got his sights on Anakin. Oh, yeah. Well, because, I mean, once Anakin goes down, there's really not much holding power for paid over on this side. Um, Burgania, I didn't talk too much about the, uh, the lineup for Snake, but in terms of battleships, Burgania and Montana are really good picks. I know Puddin really likes the Montana. Uh, the nice thing about the, the Burgon is it's got that speed. It can relocate quickly, and of course it's got the burst fire with a main battery load booster. Montana is also relatively quick, and the guns absolutely hurt. Ah, uh, Starscream, when the torps run out just before they hit, that's what we call all skill, no luck. <laughs> oh, what did I miss over there? Over where? Nevsky just, Nevsky just took took a big got a big chunk taken out of him. At C cap or at A? Yeah, at C cap. C cap. And I'm not sure who got him. <laughs> it's because the other Nevsky's gone, that's right. Uh it was it would probably be furry fun. We'll see. Yeah, their press accounts, Cthulhu. It, regular King of the Sea, they're playing their main accounts. But I think for today, they wanted to level the playing field, so to speak. Which is great. Ooh, Ragnar just gets a hit there. Um, Idol Ya, north of B-Cap. Actor and, just got slapped as well. Yeah, and all three, uh, well, not all three, but three destroyers for paid all together. Ooh, the real son of dad getting... 
getting slapped every which way right now. Yeah, the Montana, he's in trouble. He kind of nosed up a little bit, and he's he's paying for that price. He's making the same kind of move that you oftentimes see battleships do in ranked or random battles. Going into that channel where they have very little maneuverability, where torpedoes can come on and, you know, reach out and touch him, as he takes a citadel there from the Slava for his troubles. Now, Klutz trying to smoke up Nympho um, south of, or at sea cap. And here comes some deep water torpedoes on the Nevsky. Watch Simfo now realizing how screwed he is going into smoke and forgetting to put Hydro up. And that oh. almost cost him his ship. Almost cost him his ship right there. He's got some healing up, though, at least. Yeah, he'll be feeling that for a while, though. His kids are probably feeling that. That was close. <laughs> that was so close. He was down to, like, 900 health. Yep. And Kleber Janier taking some hits there. Pulls the parking brake. As the Yamagiri, and here's the power of that Yamagiri. He's able to just kind of sit into, uh, into B cap there and use that concealment advantage. Venezia just got nuked. We must have missed it. That was probably LE 2016, or was it the real ship? Both of them are doing what you'd expect them to do, be in kiting way position, um, and try to farm with Sap. Anakin continued to be farmed here. Actor still insisting on using oh, AP. I was going to say, watch Symphony is about to get it, and he got it. Yeah, in that smoke, these guys are no joke when it comes to blind firing in the smoke. These guys can hit everything. And you can see where that Slava was. And you can see where where um, the Nevsky was, Nevsky. too. And there goes Satsuma. And there goes Anakin. Kitten, are you realizing how difficult it is to, to catch yes, everything, this, even when you are paying this, attention? This is ridiculous. Like, I'm finally, I'm on one end. I'm down by the Janan trying to get a view of everything. I don't know how you guys do this. It's... How much how much meth do you do before you start this? <laughs> it takes it takes a lot, and that's part of the reason why I invited you to co-cast with me instead of um, bringing on a, a co-caster that um, you know many might be more familiar with in terms of tournaments, like uh, say Game Prodigy. Um, I wanted both you and Puddin to get some experience uh, working through this. As Puddin says, just one pound. That's all you need. <laughs> <laughs> now imagine kitten on top of of top of what you're doing making sure that your overlays are correct that the audio is coming through right that your timers are set your delay is accurate you're not going to have people watching an ad break <laughs> so i'm totally i'm totally gonna be modding cots right <laughs> <laughs> You and Ooh. Sea Raptor can have it, man. Uh uh. <laughs> Furry Fun takes a torpedo from Janier's Kleber, and there's more coming. That Slava and in B cap is in trouble. 970 points, by the way. Snake is only 28 points from victory. 39 and Gearing seconds. Gearing is in trouble. But Gearing running away from C cap is in trouble right now. He is, but he only needs to survive for 30 seconds. I don't think he's going to die anytime soon. He's full not health. That, I was gonna say not unless that Janan has like amazing. Oh, <laughs> big hit on Venezia real ship oh. there from the Slava. They know they need a kill. Eighteen <laughs> seconds to go. Remember, guys, it's pride and it's doubloons on the line. As just like that, Paid steps on C cap and stops Snake from any point gain. <laughs> Paid, Paid now telling Snake. If you want to win this, you got to get a kill. So see that maybe that gearing didn't die, but them chasing him away saved their asses. It did for now. It got them a uh, just just exactly what they needed. A time extension to see what happens. Time extended. That's right. Two minutes now. Paid will win this game in two minutes as Furry Fun takes even more torpedoes in the no-nos. 
in the no-nos. Oh my. Yes, exactly right. I am breaking you in. <laughs> so silent. <laughs> and thank you, Cthulhu. I've been doing this for, what, four years now? <laughs> I so want to comment on that so bad. For <laughs> casting, I've got to learn to behave. <laughs> but I like to be broken and rough. You don't understand. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Oh, oh, my God. You're like Michael Scott from The Office trying to stop, trying to not to say that's what she said. <laughs> he just can't do it. <laughs> All right. Late 2016. Doesn't even have to do anything to just lazily dodge those torpedoes. One minute and 52 seconds left now. If Paid can hold on, they win. And if Snake can get a kill, they win. Those are our win conditions as... Jen here says, you know what? If the Slava is going to go there, I'm going to just, I'm going to go for B. And brilliant decision now. He's, he's, he's looking at it. You can see him eyeing it up. Can I get in there? Can I get in there? As furry, we see. Can you get your furry butt in there? Right. As we can see, uh, there's also now a push at A. Snake's actor, as well as Lunatic's gearing, are both getting in there. But they have to be careful because Burgon gets farmed down quite easily. Electric fire shooting for free over the island. Way 3x firing with reload booster. They know this kill will seal this game. Actors at 10k. Gearing coming in with smoke. Will that smoke come in in enough time? And the other problem is... This smoke is going to force Lunatic off the cap. An actor was is trying to heal, but... He's got a heal going. He's got he's a heal going. It just as quick as he's healing. That's right. But that's okay, because that gives him the time. He's, he is uh, no longer detected. He's dark. But they have to get back into... Oh, wait! B-cap has taken six seconds to go until Snake wins the game. Three seconds to go. One more tick, and oh. it's not enough. Paige Clipper tried to get into B, and he couldn't get in there in time. That was a nice back and forth, at least. Oh, we like nice back and forths here in yes. King of the Sea and any sort of competitive environment. Whew. What a finish. Right, Simbato, right? What Not a enough info finish. Not enough depending on your temperament. What a finish. All right, so let's go. I, I mean, it's crazy if you think about how close both of them were right, right there. But, of course, Snake, you know, they, they, they just they got there just in time. Whew. All right, well, let's take a look at our next map. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're having fun because I'm having fun, and I'm pretty sure Kitten's having fun too. I, I think I'm scaring your, your chat, actually. Uh oh. That's all good. <laughs> <laughs> they should be used to me by now. <laughs> well, Cthulhu, here's the thing: when you follow certain streamers and you watch them enough, you you get to you get to learn things about them, right? And sometimes you learn more than you wanted to know, and sometimes you don't learn enough. But you know, there, there's there's always balance in everything. Like, we learned that, that Zath gets very, very happy on dirty water. I do get very happy on dirty water. That's correct. And argumentative. I do not get argumentative. Okay. As a reminder, for those of you guys who are just joining our challenge, our, our stream today, we've got boosters that are played. This is pros versus puppies. I'm sorry, uh, pros versus amateurs, okay? <coughs> Paid is your pro, Snake is your amateur. Snake has been given a budget of 50,000 doubloons to spend if they would choose to do so. If they don't spend that budget, then they win the remaining budget. On each, uh, each battle they win, they win a third of that budget that remains. At least I believe that's how it's set up. So that means Snake has so far won two-thirds of the remaining budget of $25,000. 
Uh, or not dollars. That would be awesome. Doubloons. Wow! I know. I can't speak. Um, you can see there on the spreadsheet, um, Snake has chosen to spend half of their budget on boosters. Okay. Uh, and they have chosen only light cruisers for paid. So paid cannot bring ru any of the Russian cruisers at all, except for the Smolensk. Which I'm surprised now that I think about it. I'm surprised we haven't seen Smolensk played yet. They, You're right. um, they have forced Paid to play a Slava in game two. Okay, and by the way, uh, this first one applies to all three of these battles. The second one applies to second and third battle. And then they picked one more ban. Uh, the challenger team is allowed to ban one further ship, so Snake has banned Minotaur, which is why you see Paid not playing with the Minotaur as well. My crippling alcoholism. Oh, no. I mean, that's something I, I really don't want to joke about because I know that there are people no. who do deal with that. And um, I really do hope that I have not caused problems amongst people uh, when I drink my dirty water. Um, but, you know, and I'm, one I'm day happy. It's not alcoholism. Correct. I, and I'm happy to, you know, to do that on stream. And, and it, that's a fun thing. Um, and I think I've gotten quite close to the line a couple of times, as Kitten can attest. But, um, you know, it, it's in no way meant to encourage uh, a lifestyle. Uh, you know what I mean? So No, we encourage it because we like getting him in trouble. <laughs> and you guys don't see it, but as soon as I hit that, as soon as I stop streaming, I'm in trouble. <laughs> like, you can almost hear you can almost hear her foot tapping. <laughs> How many times have I ended the stream with her right there in the doorway looking at me with this oh, arms I'll crossed? Oh, I'll still over the one where she sat down on the ground in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> I, maybe I should have my camera ready to take a picture next time. Be like, smile right. on you. <laughs> Click. Oh, and Starscream, you've been following since last August and you've never encountered me in this stream before do you do you watch the stream muted close encounters of the kitten kind <laughs> <laughs> let's get back to stream raiders for a second remind everybody we have 18 seconds oh well it's too late now you're not going to be able to drop a unit down but that's okay uh, while that's going on, I need to check. All right, we got 30 minutes till the next ad break. We're good I for can. that. Oh, hold on, I put one on. Ah! Well, that's because you're here with me. Uh, <laughs> so, anyways, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and do Kitten's favorite uh, spell, Killing Field. Well, at least you moved on. It used to be haste you were addicted to. I loved haste. <laughs> That was fun. Haste was haste is, I mean, especially if you've got a lot of people, haste is a good, good pick in my opinion. Well, yeah, if you, especially if you see a pile of Papa Smurfs standing there, you should know to use haste. Mm-hmm. Because those are those super fast crack headlines. That's right. Okay, Wargaming Main is now choosing what bounties uh, they're gonna pick. Guys, uh, like I said, after this game ends, you're gonna pick another, another bounty. Um, oh, we lost! What did you do? Uh, nothing. It, 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 I, I just, I just placed a unit. That's all I did. That's okay. We do have retry tokens. And so we're gonna retry. This is a loyalty skin chest, ladies and gentlemen. So if you want that skin, you gotta get in here. I got 19 kills on that. Good lord, guys. How hard do I need to carry? Harder. Apparently. See, I may not be able to carry in WoWs, but... <laughs> <laughs> Stream Raiders! There we go. Let's go ahead and drop some units down. I gotta get my quests done. Quests redeemed, I should say. Oh, and that reminds me. Uh, I'm gonna have to do this. I have to log in as my uh, my viewer account because I forgot. I always forget to go to the store and pick up things. But I don't have any gold. I'm poor, so that's okay. I won't bother worrying about that then. You really like too many work hours. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it's it sucks, right? Sometimes you you get stuck with that. So understandable. 
That's why I post everything to YouTube. Or at least try to. So see, still you should know who I am. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me uh, get into my viewer, check the store. By the uh, way, I will admit I am not normally this big of a brat, but I, I, I'm tired, it's early. It is early. Uh, while we're, you know what, while we're waiting, guys, we definitely don't need to do this right now, but I'm going to go ahead and run another pre-roll ad just because I don't want to take a risk that I will forget after this next battle. Um, so here we go. We're going to do a pre-roll ad, minute and a half. Stay tuned. More games coming. Don't worry. And uh, as always, Puddin is taking care of our giveaways today. Thank you so much, Puddin. Here we go. He's the man. He's the man. All right. See, so this is what happens. I log in and I go, oh, the last battle I played is done. So now I need to go and place my units. So I go place my units and then I get distracted by something else. <laughs> squirrel. Squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Because I feel like that's what that's what all of this is, you know, these days. Is It's like video games these days are more about the squirrel. They're, they're less about like the, the quest and the, and the long grind and all that. It's more about that instant gratification. So my stream has gotten a laugh out of the fact that Phineas and Ferb have gotten people to spell out the word simp. Huh? Remember the song I do in my stream all the time? Squirrels in my pants? Oh. Well, they have in the song, they go S to the I to the M to the P. So they get him to spell simp over and over. That's fun. They're like, they got them to spell simp in a kid's show. I'm like, that ain't even the worst of what they've done in kids' shows. <laughs> oh, that ain't geez. even the worst. Goodness. You know, my favorite adult joke in a kid's cartoon will always be Animaniacs, the fingerprints uh -huh. joke. Okay. I'm not familiar with that one. I mean, I've watched the so, show. They're doing a whole thing, you know, they're, they're trying to find fingerprints, you know. They gotta find evidence because someone stole something. And so okay. he, he sends Dot to find fingerprints. And he's uh -huh. doing his thing, and all of a sudden she comes back, and she's got prints in her arms. And he goes, I said fingerprints. And Prince looks at her and smiles, and she goes, I don't think so, and throws him. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> wow. I will send that to you later, because that has got to be the funniest moment I have ever seen in a cartoon. Idea for your future Zat Chat. Demonstrate how to become a Stream Raiders captain. Huh. Okay, Cthulhu. That's an interesting idea. Let me catch up on chat here. I'm just taking so a look Am I going to at... be leading that one then? <laughs> I mean, you'll, you'll do a better job than I will. That's for sure. You've actually gotten pretty good at it, though. Now, we, we do have... We just start doing verses. We do have uh, a couple of of uh matches done here the other match went 3-0 already pta beat a soul um now that's penta and they placed they fought uh a soul here in elo one and a soul spent more money on boosters they spent twenty seven thousand doubloons the the team cannot use camo so they had to play naked they could only play one battleship and they could not use radio location Yet still, they managed to defeat a soul. We will see them later against Innova. I believe it was Innova. I don't know, I got my schedule someplace here. Yes, versus Innova. And chat, these right here are what you guys are going to vote for after this battle, so at the end of this battle, which just started, at the end of this battle, Puddin is going to create a poll, and on that poll, he's going to have Infiltration, Battle Hardened, Bounty Hunter, Survivor, and Trio Survival. You, chat, will have to decide which bounty to place on either one team or both. We'll talk about that later. And we're you can in. see down there in the yellow. And we are indeed in. So let's get, whoops, let's get to this battle. Okay. Ooh, a and a 
Yeah, uh, so this is game three. So far, Snake has won both of their battles. So Paid has not gotten paid yet. Um, yet. Yet. So, Kitten, what's Paid bringing to this particular battle? Paid is bringing a Satsuma, a Slava, a Colbert, um, the the Jinanigan, um, the Yamagiri, the Kleber, a Haragumo, and two Ragnars. Now, we you, you went over it really quick, but I need to highlight this ship, Harugumo. This ship, mm -hmm. Puddin and I talked about at length yesterday, because with the Legendary Smoke module, it can be quite a spicy ship. It's got uh, ridiculous DPM to boot, pretty decent torpedoes. I would say not as good as the gearings. Um, it doesn't have as good concealment, so it's not going to be as good of a, of a cap bully. But... Um, it will be really, really good on a flank, working up a death snail. And you can see how that Harugumo is working with the Colbert. Interestingly enough, Anfas Water Gap was the Colbert that got basically one-shotted, essentially, in the last game. So he or she has flipped over to Destroyer instead of Cruiser. On the Snake side, we've got Montana, Bergon, Des Moines, Moskva, Annapolis, another Des Moines, a Venezia, and two Gearings. Now... I think this comp makes good sense because this map, there's a ton of islands that people will hide behind and you need the radar to spot all of those ships. What do you think about these lineups, Kitten? Is there one lineup you like better than the other? Obviously, I'm going to like um, Paid's lineup, but I mean, I'm, I'm a whore for the Hargumo. It's the only DD I genuinely love. Yeah, you do like that ship. I do. I do. The Daka Daka is just so disgusting on her. Mm-hmm. And if you can if you can hide well, you can just burn somebody down with her. Simboto says I just called you a man. Did I? I don't think so, but maybe. No. Oh. Putin says he's You're selling welcome, his Puddin. Puddin. <laughs> You're welcome, Putin. <laughs> Now, that, that Gumo is also using the Inferno Camo, which is quite uh, quite annoying because it used to have this bug, and I don't know if it's still in the game, where uh, the shells coming out from that are, like, super loud. So they, they are very, very annoying shells. As real ship pops the radar, detects Otten's Kleber, but nobody's really going to be able to punish him. Maybe the Venezia? No, island's in the way. He's looking, right. though. I was going to say, he's pretty safe where he is, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Venezia is looking. <laughs> Tactical analysis, Mr. Savick. <laughs> you can look, but you can't touch, guys. Uh, no, that's a Star Trek reference. That's Star Trek. No, no. I was talking about the Colbert, though. Oh. Yes. Like, Y'all yeah, right. can look at me, but you can't touch. That's true. That's true. Very nice death snail right there. Very, per almost perfectly timed. Lunatic only lost a couple of puffs on that smoke. So that's not bad. After, After taking a few slaps from the Slava. Yeah, it's going to happen early on. You know, yeah. I, I'm i one, different casters have different styles. I'm a caster where I don't like to call out like a lot of the, the big... Um, the, the big battleship hits, unless it's like a, a huge chunking, just because, eh. Well, I mean, it was, basically first, it was basically first slap. It was the, ah! yeah you know, the first dynasty slap. <laughs> dynasty slap. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Ragnar taking Venezia's sap. Now that's a slap right there. <laughs> Are you referring to the, the show dynasty? Yes. The, the soap opera? Yeah, you know, where someone comes up, oh, bitch, and slaps her, and, and then it goes from there. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, Puddin, let me check on that for you real quick. I'm going to tab out of the game, so Kitten, just continue, please. Just Doing continue. Doing your thing. Um, the Colbert's docka docking. Not hitting anything, but he's trying. Uh, 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, he is he is getting a little bit of love on that Moskva. Yeah. Just a little bit. Okay, okay. Uh, Putin, we're doing the, doing the polls for two minutes. <laughs> we can't touch the TV, So see, with the Daka Daka out of a Colbert, you put that and a Harugamo together, that could just be gross. Yes. That's the whole point. I know. Right? And then, then you've got Way 3X there with the radar as well. And you can see what's happening to uh, the real son of Dad. Now, the thing is, the Harugumo is detected now and is unable to sit and hide in the smoke anyways because he's the one spotting the Montana. So he's going to get pushed back a little bit here, but you can see... And it might be a she. I apologize. I don't know genders of all these uh, players, uh, so I'm just going to assume he. But uh, so you see him po pulling the handbrake there to keep spotting on real son of dad. Unfortunately, son of dad is out of range of the Colbert at this point. So you can see electric fire changing targets now to the Moskva. And Moskva is not detected in smoke, so those are all lucky shots. Ragnar getting hit. Where's the Ragnar? Ooh. Way 3X just got slapped. That's Annapolis with the radar and possibly with the reload booster as well, the salvo fire. And you can just hear that Harugumo shells going off in the, on the right side of my ear. And that's, that's what I'm talking about, that Inferno camo. I think it's almost just as annoying to your teammates as it is to, like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> to your opponent. So that's what you need for your Harugumo, because, because then everybody will hear what you're opening up. <laughs> and we know you like being loud. I mean, it's true. <laughs> 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 Guys, all day I, I think I'm gonna troll the kitten by just just setting them up and <laughs> making her not <laughs> fall. <laughs> Torpedoes oh, on the Annapolis. Annapolis maybe taking. Nope. Real ship manages to dodge him. Way three X is still detected, still taking a few hits. Real ship gets punished just a little bit from the Setsuma in return. What's going on the other side? <laughs> Yamagiri is almost in trouble, almost going down, 4,400 hit points, still under fire from the Des Moines. You okay, kitten? Yeah, I'm just looking at the, 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 the love walls of Torpini going towards the, <laughs> the Des Moines. Yes, we call that, we call those the walls of skill. The walls of skill. Well, actually, this is not a wall okay. of skill. A wall of skill, a proper wall of skill is when the torpedoes are all lined up and make this gigantic line across. Right. Because you have no idea where to, to, to fire them off. These are, yeah, we'll go with what you called them. Yeah. Torpini. Torpini wall of love. And Watch Info is going to take one right here because he does not have Hydro going. He's going to take two, and that's going to turn him into the other deep waters, and that <laughs> takes him out oh, yeah. right there. The Torpedo Wall of Love, see? The Wall of Love reached out and they struck the enemy. <laughs> Slapped by the Torpedo. I hope somebody clipped oh. that moment. The Hargamo is identifying as a Shikishima. That's correct with the Infernal Camo. Be proud of me because I had a way dirtier comment for that as he took all those and... See, I that's another say. that's another challenge that you have to you have to make when it comes to <laughs> I know. casting. You you have to I be know. you have to be clean, but you got to find where where that line is, and you have to just you, you got to toe that line. My lip Colbert, hurts so much right now. You don't understand. <laughs> Colbert is coming <laughs> <fighting>. in. There. <laughs> <laughs> the the Janon's coming in, coming in on that foregone. Ah. <sighs> Uh-huh, I see that. Yep, actor is starting to... Uh, nope, nope, he's changed to Jennier's uh, Des Moines. That reminds me, Kitten, of the time that I completely got um, 
I completely got, uh, what's his name? Oskins. I completely got him off track. <laughs> Remember that? Yes. And and he just he just burst out laughing. <laughs> he couldn't. A rack, I like that, Roger. <laughs> A rack of water sausages. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Self-propelled water sausages. <laughs> oh, God. Speak and as he said that, all I could picture was the beginning of Jackass 3D. And if you guys saw this, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going any further. The real son of dad is um, kind of stuck. Kind of stuck. Uh, burning right now. Two racks of water sausages coming in behind him. Uh, but we often yeah, talk about run out of we often talk about. Yeah, thank you. Wall of love. <laughs> we often talk about the <laughs> damn. We always talk about um, using torpedoes as uh, area denial. And that's exactly what Alphonse Water Gap did with those torpedoes. It, it, they came in. They prevented real son of, a da of dad feeling comfortable reversing. And the real the real ship is running for his life, but he seems to be doing fine. So now they're oh, yeah. now they're like, all right, let's go, let's go get the Moscow instead. Now let's take a moment and appreciate the fact that Paid is in the lead quite handsomely with two caps, a whole bunch of points. Yeah, and but a ship like we advantage. saw the last few battles, that can change quickly. It can change quickly, but in the past, historically, the past two games, it's been Snake in the lead and mm -hmm. Paid having to react. And now Snake is the one who's got to find a way back in this game. Kitten, do you see any way back in this game for Snake? Um, Snake is red, right? Yes, there are. Yes, red. Snake is red. Torpedoes on the Janan. That might do it. That does it right there. Janan takes a couple <laughs> of water sausages. Well, I mean, if this if this Venezia sneaks into B, that's gonna help a bit mm. as long as Anakin doesn't see him. Yeah, late twenty sixteen, getting ready to go in. Anakin is being pushed around a little bit in the Satsuma. Notice how he is in a complete kiting away position. Late twenty sixteen, almost as if he heard you, kitten, is like, <laughs> I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna take the B cap. He pops the like, smoke. Let's do this. You see how Anakin was positioned to detect late 2016's Venezia. Um, so 2016's forced to hit the smoke. Now, this is important. 2016 does not have, I don't think, because he had to fire his smoke off so early, does not have enough time to get in there um, and get that. A son of dad is about to go down. There he goes, finally slapped oh. off the board. I get finally. Finally and slapped off the board, jeez. Yeah, it took a very long time. And you can see... Um, we can see Klutz is now trying to get the real ship into a position to guard him at A to back him up. Late 2016 smoke does expire, but that does give him enough time to get out of there. Uh, does he get reset? No, that was some very, very careful, very close Slava shells. Brilliant maneuver there by 2016, getting into B, grabbing it. And, and Paige goes. Ragnar. Yeah. Wait, I was going to say, yeah, way 3x. Goes down right there to the Moskva. Alpha's water gap might go down too. Torpedoes coming in. Ooh. Good dodge right there. Yamagiri goes down to the gearing, to Lunatic's gearing. Where is Lunatic? Right there. No. Oh, he's on the other side. Ah. Lunatic came and just assassinated him right there. Okay. So we were talking about needing a way back in, and I think we might have found that way back in, guys. As look at Actor. Actor and Jennier. Oh! And now they're taking A, so... Oh my god, Bergon with a full AP Savo touched Slava in all of the no-nos. And Slava goes down. What a hit. And now Actor's taking C, so now they're going to have all three. Actor's taking C and and is using Reload Booster and Hidden Anakin on his side. Anakin's in trouble, forced to go into B-Cap in order to get out of the, the fire. And just like that, Snake found a way back in. The Shinan going down was crucial. 
because that allowed Lunatic's gearing to pop up there and start hitting things. I feel like the the Ragnar at A, uh, that was, um, what was it, Wave 3X? Is that the name? Uh, yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. Wave 3X, yeah. Uh, got a little little complacent, got himself killed, unfortunately. And just like any random battle, sometimes it just takes one, maybe two kills, usually just one, and, and the game can just flip on a on its head. And that's exactly yeah, what we see happening here. Now, uh, Anakin's got B, though. Anakin's taking back B. Does he? Now. Look at, look at late 2016. Late 2016 is ready to back up if he needs to to stop it. Torpedoes coming in as well from the gearing. Very nice torpedoes. Real Ships Annapolis is keeping Anakin... He's going to need to back in, and uh, he's, it doesn't look like he's doing it. They're going to allow Anakin to take the cap. I don't like this decision. Well, unless I really don't like this decision. trying to get in there. Well, yeah, no? but I feel like I feel like it would make more sense to encourage Anakin to move forward and look for a shot on the Venezia while Actor is moving there around. Goes, Otten's um, down? Yeah. Yep, Otten's down. That was to Janier's Radar Des Moines. Uh, so now... Now, big hit there on Actor oh. from the... From the Satsuma, Anakin should be going for the ram, but he's not. He's going for the ultimate disrespect. He's going for the complete broadside. Is he going to get it? He's probably going to get it. I don't think he's it. going to. Oh, yeah. you were saying? Yeah. Anako, Anakin knows, or actor knows, exactly where the no-no spots you are said, on all these You said ships. Anakin was going for the full. I, yeah, and I, I said no. I, I, I was, was messing actor. up the names because it's Anakin and actor. Sorry, everybody. So, see, I was arguing correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Starscream, yes. Uh, that's Lava was full hit points and then became no hit points. Alpha's Water Gap goes down the Haragumo to the Venezia Sap Salvo. And this game is over. So you were saying about Snack not looking like they could come back? Snake found a way back in. It was, uh, it was tough, but they found a way back in. They got lucky on the Torpedo Salvo on the Jinan. Remember that the uh, Pan-Asian cruisers, I believe, if I remember right, do not have hydro. And Electric Fire just shooting, saying, in this, let's move on. So let me get ready for my death pick. I guess I'll take it over here. Got 30 seconds. Can I get there or in time? Like, let's go and shoot. Nah! Can I get the Gumo going down? Here's your favorite Gumo. Yeah, I can get the Gumo going down. Come on, Electric Fire. Go down in a blaze of glory. Yes. And that will do it for this round. Snake winning all three battles. That means that their team wins 25,000 doubloons plus uh, any bounties that Wargaming Main's chat placed in this battle. Well played, gentlemen. Absolutely well played. Now, we're going to quickly move over. 